hi guys hope you guys are doing good we're back with another video and today basically what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be reviewing uh some of the trades that i took and that i shared with my signal group and i also did share uh one trade which was gbp usd in the free um telegram channel All right so right here we're going to be looking at the markups that i sent <clears throat> uh, and as you can see this was my uh, projection on GBP USD, which I am going to explain why I came up with this trade idea. And as you can see, the risk to reward was amazing on this one, All right? So, as you can see, it actually played out and I uh, hit that target, All right? So, this is GBP USD, and we also looked at USD CAD, right? Which is very simple, and I am going to explain why I took this trade. Uh, for those who have been following my videos, uh, you would understand why. Uh, I expected price to drop from here and as you can see you can see how price moved away from that area right and all these trades were actually shared uh, in the VIP signal group I'm actually still holding this trade as you can see and I'm also holding uh, pound USD all right so let's get into the charts okay <clears throat> so this was GBP USD uh, and as you can see uh, I looked at it from the daily time frame and just by looking at it from the daily time frame we could see that at this area right here at this area right here we had a nice base area right, a nice base area and I loved how price moved away from that right that was a very interesting area and you can see the momentum away from this area right so just by looking at the daily time frame I already had an idea of you know the direction of price right so Moving down to the four hour time frame, we could see that we actually had price move away from the area that I just highlighted. Now you can see how price moved. Look at that momentum right there. That momentum right there says a lot, right? It says a lot about that level. And we can see that price had already moved away from this area. So this was price now coming back uh, to this area. And as you can see, this was also a nice base area down here right being a peak of course and as you can see after price had broken structure going to the upside price made its way down all right so let's move down to the two hour time frame <coughs> or the h1 so we can get more clarity okay so this is what we had right this is where i actually saw this trade uh, when when i when i sent it out right and as you can see we had a nice 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 move right there nice peak formation right a structure breaker that's the most important thing uh that you need to keep an eye on right we had a nice structure breaker as you can see price took out these areas and price made its way down to a base area all right so this is the area that i was actually looking for longs right when i send it out to my group so the markup that i just showed you guys <coughs> excuse me this is how the idea came about right we had a nice area being created right here structure was broken right that's a very important thing after structure was broken price then made its way down to the beginning of the move not really much uh momentum there but it was still a good trade right so price then moved up right created another base area for me this was a very clean one because you can see how price moved away from that also breaking structure right? so we had a nice structure breaker and price actually came back where to the base area so this was actually a nice trade and as i said <clears throat> i am still uh, uh holding this trade right i'm actually still in this trade as you can see right? i'm holding this trade but i will take profit uh soon and i'm also holding usd cad which uh, i'm about to look at right now okay so going back to usd cad uh okay this is usd cad oh sorry about that I'll explain why as I just showed you right why I had that trade idea right yeah. okay so just by looking at USD CAD I think I'll, I'll do it on a clean chart so you can understand what was happening <clears throat> from the high time frame so looking at it from the daily I just love getting you know an idea of what's happening in my high time frame because remember your high time frame will basically determine uh, what will happen in your smaller time frames and a lot of people uh, quick to rush for the smaller time frame All right so and i don't advise you do that okay so just by looking at the daily time frame i could see that we had a nice base area right here where price was actually retesting right price was actually retesting we can see the momentum away from that area 
also breaking structure so in our daily time frame we had a very clean structure right there as you can see a very uh, good looking structure there so what happens when price gets into the area the price gets into the area as you can see a very good reaction right so remember you always want to trade safe so if you're not good uh, with catching reversals you can always catch the continuation right? you can always catch the continuation so you need to understand the movement of price what happens when price moves what you can see is price gives you the move down right breaks structure as you can see if you look to the left this is structure being broken right and as soon as price breaks structure price retest another base area right i mean look at the momentum right there and we continued uh to the downside right so what do we have right here as you can see we've got a drop base drop this was a nice area right here right right here this was a base area because of the momentum remember we are interested in the areas where banks right have their pending orders or unfilled orders right where they have transactions which are not completed as yet right so the momentum away from these areas is what we're looking for okay so what do we have right here we've got a nice drop base drop and a, a very good looking candle right this says uh, this said a lot um about this area right it said a lot about this area so this is the reason why if we go back to the chart i just showed you right now um, yeah this is the reason why uh because i took this trade at this area this is the reason why i took this trade there because i had seen the momentum away from it and i was waiting for price because remember before he makes a move he has to manipulate so these fast moves right will get people you know worked up right? if you get people entering short there and trust me there's a bunch of traders who are definitely going to enter down there right so this is why i came uh about with this trade idea this is why I came about with this trade idea and I wanted to see price continue dropping and as you can see price actually made its way back up there again right but you can see if you're still in this trade which I am I am still in this trade right you'll be running at a very good um, number of pips right if you can actually check the, the risk that we had because I took the trade right at the wick right I was risking 20 pips 21 pips let me just say 21 pips and right now we are floating 53 pips which is already good right i'm not a guy who trades a lot of times right i'm, I'm very selective right i'm very selective uh, so this was also a nice trade that we took in gbp usd uh risk was 27 pips and our target was 128 pips right which as you can see the target was hit i'm still holding this trade myself i'm still holding it uh, but i will be taking profit uh, very soon right? but still talking about usd cad that is the reason why i expected price to get there because of what because of the unfilled orders that we had right here right so as price pushed down as you can see it took out all these areas broke structure right with structure being broken right? price makes its way up and then as you can see look at that beautiful move to the downside right and i mean if you were stalking this right if you are really stalking this right you had the opportunity to go to your shorter time frames uh and and try and minimize your risk right? try and minimize your risk so right these are the type of trades that you can risk you know uh 15 pips for 100 pips right as you can see in, in your 30 minute time frame this is what you had we had our base area right here right we can see the momentum away from it right so price got there so you see that actually if you were timing this right and if you actually understood what is happening here uh you, you you would actually be able to have a very good risk to reward ratio when you trade because i mean that's the whole idea behind this it's not just about uh you know executing right? you need to make sure that you're managing your risk very well so in this case if you're going to time it this is the 30 minutes right when you have now increased or, or improved in your skill rather right you'd be able to actually go down to the m1 and risk 10 five pips right but in this case right you're going to be risking 17 pips and this went all the way down to 70 pips whereas the risk reward on that is amazing guys the risk reward on that is amazing right so that's the whole idea behind this guys you have to minimize your risk and you need to understand where banks have these orders located right but you having an idea about where these banks have their hidden pending orders does not mean you do not have to manage your risk right that's where a lot of traders lose it that's where a lot of traders lose it right they want to get rich uh, 
in one day they want to get rich in one week they want to get rich in a month right but for you to be consistent and for you to start trading like a professional you need to start managing your risk right if you are really serious uh, i remember uh, my mentor right? my mentor told me that if, if 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 i really wanted to take forex you know as 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 a career right i had to start managing my risk right? and ever since he told me that right risk management has, has been very important for me all right it has been very important so i advise you guys to follow your risk management right and understand because before you even think of risk management you need to ask yourself if you know what you're doing right you need to ask yourself if you know what you're doing because a lot of people think they can trade i mean i, I combine btmm and uh uh an order flow right but trust me a clean chart right is all you need right the clean chart is all you need the emas are just the bonus right the emas are just the bonus right but the clean chart is all you need so these are the trades that i took uh, and as i said i did actually uh, send this out in the t telegram channel right i sent it as a free signal so for those who are in the channel uh I trust that you made very good profits right there we go i did send it out right there right and this was this was when the trade was still taking off right as you can see this was when the trade was still taking off and right now as i just showed you guys um the trade is doing very good right we're still holding it we've been holding it for one two three four days now right? four days holding it and it's been doing good Right, so I hope you guys learned something from this and uh, do not forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribe to our channel and turn on that post notification bell icon and for those looking for free signals free educational content do join our telegram channel find the link in the description below.